and gentlemen, this contest is for the Ultra Women's Championship. Is this casual Dan Masters night? Where the hell is this tie? This is a big deal, this match. Is it just me or has he aged 20 years in the last two weeks? What a match we have here tonight, Todd Kennelly. I mean, we're starting the night off with a Women's Ultra Championship match. And Two of the top female wrestlers in the world will be competing for that championship right now. And not to mention the history between these two as making her way to the ring, the challenger, La Huera Loca, Taya Valkyrie. Now, Taya Valkyrie has really had the number of Tessa Blanchard as of late at Impact Wrestling's homecoming, dethroned Blanchard for the Impact Wrestling Knockouts title. But will we see the era of the Huera here in PCW Ultra? You know, I went to Barcelona once, I was there for two days, and I learned a, two, a couple things about Spanish, and I'm pretty sure you pronounce that R like a D sound, so it's like La Huera Loca, right? But you wouldn't know anything about Spanish or culture or anything like that. You're probably just a Californian Trump supporter in the minority. Yeah, I said it. Looking to really send the champion crashing down here. Undeniable Tessa Blanchard. That remains to be seen. There you see the champ, the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. Shut up, Todd, just take it in. Oh. Just enjoy the moment. The diamond has finally come from the rough. The diamond is now shining brighter than she has ever shined. At 23 years old, she, held, she handles every women's championship this industry has to offer. Tessa Blanchard is undeniable, and diamonds are forever. And boy, is she good to look at, too. Jeez. Diamonds might be forever, but the knockout's title reign of Tessa Blanchard was not, because it was cut short by her challenger here tonight, Taya Valkyrie. Incredible history at stake here, as is the Ultra Women title. And let's set the stage. Take it away, Dan Masters. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest, one fall, 60 minute time limit for the Ultra Women's Championship. Your official in charge of the action when the bell rings, senior official Rick Knox. Introducing first, our challenger from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. She is your challenger, Taya Valkyrie. Taya Valkyrie's gear on this championship night is on point. Her opponent, our current reigning, defending Ultra Women's Champion from Charlotte, North Carolina, the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. God, I love Tessa. The most beautiful, toughest, savage of all the women's wrestlers in the world. Total embodiment of what it means to be a champion. She's got that pedigree. She's born into this great sport. But does she have what it takes to defeat Taya Valkyrie? That wasn't the case at Impact Wrestling. Speaking of Impact Wrestling, coming up March 29th, it will be the Wrestle Summit. Many promotions coming together to put on that blockbuster event. Impact Wrestling, just one of them. What a show that's gonna be. We're gonna have Defy visiting from the Pacific Northwest. We got MCW Wrestling Revolver in the house. For all information on that, go to pcwultra.com or www.wrestlesummit.com. What a night that's gonna be here in Wilmington, California. What a way to kick things off. Two competitive rivals. Valkyrie with the spear right off the get-go. Ground and pound offense. And Valkyrie certainly does have the size and strength advantage over the Ultra Woman champion. Yeah, but you keep failing to mention that Tessa Blanchard is an undefeated champion here in PCW Ultra. It doesn't matter what happens behind the doors of Impact Wrestling or anywhere else in the world for that matter. The fact is, is Tessa Blanchard is the best in PCW Ultra, and I'd put her up against any company, any woman in any company. And she's gone up, she's gone up against many of the best in this industry right here in PCW Ultra. Won the title all the way back in May, on May the 4th, big drop kick there by Valkyrie. 
You'll recall that Blanchard defeated Chelsea Green on May the 4th to become the champion, and she has been undeniable ever since. To play devil's advocate, however, Christian Cole, Valkyrie, 1-0 here in PCW Ultra as well. Back at Believe, defeated Heather Monroe to earn this title shot. Big victories over and over again from both these women. What brought them here? As Ty gets stripped up, and, and it's what has set this historic match up here to kick off A2K19, our anniversary here. Three years in the making is this championship match. You likened Blanchard, the champion, to a savage. Here we see some savage tactics, but earlier, the drop toe hold to use the momentum of Valkyrie against her. Is that what the champion's gonna have to do, stick a move? Well, yeah, absolutely. And the fact is she's the most elusive woman we've ever seen in professional wrestling. Not only is she fast, but she backs it up with a ton of strength. And it's the brain of Tessa Blanchard that's gotten her to where she is. At such a young age, to be an undefeated champion, oh my God, and the fierce striking and running right into the lower back of, Tess, of Taya Valkyrie. Tessa Blanchard on point thus far in this match. She was on point with that elbow, that's for sure. A back elbow in more ways than one, right to the lower lumbar region, and sends the challenger out to the outside. Valkyrie certainly can't win the championship out here. Tessa's taking a breather, wipes off her boots. And now she seems to have a thought here, and something has just sort of inspired her to go out and maybe brawl a little bit on the outside. I think Rick Knox is uh, smart to let this go for a little bit. Call for silence, big shot upstairs there by Tessa Blanchard. Blanchard trying to keep that full court press. Oh, big shot the other way by Valkyrie. You gotta believe that as much as Valkyrie wants the PCW Ultra Women title, Blanchard wants revenge for the loss of that Knockouts Championship. I mean, there's just so much history between these two women all over the country and all over the world. From Canada to Mexico, from Europe to the United States. These two women have had a great rivalry over the last number of months. And recently we saw Taya Valkyrie with the upper hand gaining the Impact Women's Championship. But it doesn't mean anything around here. The fact is, is that she's looking to get that PCW Ultra women's title around her waist and she's going up against the undefeated Tessa Blanchard. I believe back in December, both of these ladies got victories over SoCal standouts. I mentioned Valkyrie over Heather Monroe. The champion defeated Delilah Doom in what was a fantastic title defense. Out here, elevator coming down, perhaps back up. Oh, just like that. The champ set to retain. Turned out the lights, but not yet. It seemed to me she didn't get all of it. She was in that middle rope position. Landed the magnum, but it seemed that Taya was able to slide off. And it only got a two count. That usually is a devastating maneuver. Can put her opponents away for three, but Taya's one of the toughest women in this business. One of the toughest wrestlers in this business, period, is Taya Valkyrie. Yeah, but that's certainly going to soften up the challenger, you got to believe, but still has her mental faculties in play as she sidesteps the champ who hits hard and heavy into that post. Might have caught her shoulder there, Christian. Yeah, unlike some companies, we have real corner posts in our professional wrestling ring. And she took all of that on the collarbone. You can see her left hand is balled up in a fist. She's trying to get feeling back in it, and now she's really at a disadvantage. And you see it there, standing switch, German suplex just snapped it off, did Valkyrie. And the ebb and flow of this matchup really typifies how evenly matched these two rivals are, Christian. It pendulum of momentum continues to sway back and forth. Taya Valkyrie comes in with that back elbow, and Todd Kennedy talked about it earlier. He talked about, Todd, you, 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 see, I just wanted to listen to what she was saying there for a moment. You did allude to the fact that that this rivalry has gone on for so long and that Taya, she's looking to win here. I mean, the bottom line is PCW Ultra Championship is one of the most coveted in professional wrestling today. And if Taya could beat her, he, could, if Taya could beat Tessa here, oh God, Wait. she could really cement herself as one of the best on the planet. I agree with you, Christian. Aggressive now, going for the cover is Valkyrie. And method to the madness offensively for the challenger because think of what she likes. She likes that. STF, that local lock. She's softening up the shoulder area to try and lock that in. She likes that road to Valhalla. Going to make it very tough for the champion to counter at this point. The way things are going, Valkyrie going all the way up top. Huge moonsault. Oh, Picture it. Perfect moonsault, but misses this tie of Valkyrie. And that took all the air out of the lungs. And now another beautiful spear 
And there may be no air left in Ty of Valkyrie now. Cover. <laughs> Only two. I really believe that the advantage when it comes to high impact offense has rested with the champion. You saw the Magnum earlier, now that big spear. As she starts to go to work on the challenger, nullifying that early offense by Valkyrie. Nice drop toe hold though on her in her own right. Looking for a submission, but Tessa ducks the shoulder and able to kick out. And this is bad here, front chancery. Tessa's got that locked in with the left arm and a hammer lock, or right arm rather, but oh, Ty able to escape, beautiful counter -talk. look at this. Northern lights and almost turned out the lights of the champion, incredible, the power on display. Cover again, all the body weight comes crashing down and it certainly hurts inside for Blanchard, but she finds a way to slip that shoulder out. Yep, what a cover, beautiful kick out there. You can see Taya, she's got Tessa's back. Tessa's gonna fight out though, the heart of Tessa Blanchard, ever the fighter, able to get that cutter. Beautifully done, is this gonna be enough? If not, what is it gonna take? You saw the eyes, a great shot by our production staff there, Christian. The eyes of Valkyrie looking very strange, very glassed over, and on the opposite end of the spectrum, Blanchard can't believe that she hasn't been able to put her away. These matches have gone back and forth between these women wherever they've wrestled around the world. Tonight is no different. It's going back and forth. Double underhooks there from the backside. Imitation, the sincerest form of flattery. I do believe that Blanchard was looking for Valkyrie's own road to Valhalla. Paying for it now, though. Big knee strike by Valkyrie. Double hook of the leg. Only a count of two. Not going to be able to beat her that fast. Tessa Blanchard, like I said earlier, one of the, one of the biggest hearts in professional wrestling. She is every part of the word fighter. She's the definition of that. Tessa just runs, into, or excuse me, Taya runs into a boot there. Uh-oh, look out here. Oh my God, incredible. Potter with the destroyer. Incredible, and now looking to follow up. We've seen the champion off the top. Can she hit the Magnum from here? Oh, she, she got, got her. Get the rights, Christian. That's it, time. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still PCW Ultra Women's Champion, the undeniable Tessa Blanchard. Christian Cole, I gotta tell you, Blanchard had her game face on tonight. That was a decisive victory over the new Knockouts Champion. And what does this mean for the story between these two women? after Taya grinded to earn this championship shot for the PCW Ultra Women's title. She comes up short, but these two women have gone back and forth championship for championship over the last number of months. What a match we saw here tonight. I'm not so sure this story's over between these two incredible wrestlers. Well, I doubt it, both hold gold, but Valkyrie could not come into Blanchard's house here in the Ultratorium and complete the clean sweep. So history not made, at least for the Ultra Women title. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.